What up guys, this is the boy K Fighter Ken Bob bring you a NCA 14 Ultimate Team. I finally got my hands on NCA 14. I decided to give Ultimate Team a try because I never played Ultimate Team before. So let's see how this goes. I'm gonna go with my favorite team, Texas. Uh as soon as I find it. But overall, if you don't know what Ultimate Team is, it's basically you get these cards. It's like a card game, but then it brings it into virtual life. That's the best way I can describe it. So I got a free, I guess they give me a free starter kit. Let's see what kind of cards I get in this starter kit. It's probably going to be trashy cards. And what do you know? Trashy cards. A whole bunch of 60s. Dennis Dixon. Ew, Mark Sanchez. But he's better than Dennis Dixon, so I'm clearly going to have to start with him. D'Angelo Williams. D'Angelo Williams is a, is a pretty good running back, but this is his freshman card, so. Uh, John Connor, don't know him. Ted Ginn, don't know him. Vincent Brown, I've heard of him, but I don't know him. Anquan Bolden, okay. But again, freshman cards, uh, eh. Dallas Clark, I. Right. Uh, Derek Shepard, I don't know him. Brandon Albert, Thomas Austin. Kevin Zucker, Sebastian Volner, Louis Noigata. Uh, pretty, pretty much I get some mediocre players. A lot of them I don't know. Yep, don't know it. Almost about all of them. Mm, yeah. yeah, there's nobody here that's really a standout. Oh, Anquan Antonio Camardi, alright. Yeah. Joe McKnight, alright. MNT Baker Stadium. And then the playbooks, Texas offense, Texas defense. So, alright. I got some good players. And then jerseys and then some extra extension cards. So Alright, so Alright. But one card I'm really proud of is this card right here. My Deion Sanders card. Uh, I'm gonna have. He's currently gonna be in the, starting in the game at corner, so because he's my best player on the entire team. So taking a look at my starting lineup real quick. Uh, nothing really to speak of, because I'm pretty much probably gonna get destroyed by anybody that's better than me. But let's try to make it as decent as possible, I guess. Um, I wish Deion Sanders could also play wide receiver, but his stat sucked at that too. Yeah, I can't really do anything about my receiving core. Uh, cornerback, I definitely gotta put Deion Sanders in. You know that's a definite must. Uh, ee, no, what am I doing? Uh, Deion Sanders is always number one corner. Gonna put Anton Camardi at number two. And James Husky at number three. So my team is pretty set. There's nothing else I can really do to improve it. So let's see how I do it in an actual game with this squad. So my first pass play for Sanchez doesn't go as well as expected. Try to get it to Bolden, but it's an incomplete pass. So I try again for the pass play. This time around, I try to hit Cosby. And would you know, completion? for the first down so I try it again with Cosby let's see if I can get another completion and guess yes I do and a first down all right next up I try to go with another simple pass play let's see if I can get a simple pass completion here oh man Brown for a completion next up I'm gonna try to go back to my favorite player on this squad so far right now Anquan Bolden can I get him yes I can oh but it's not a first down but it's good enough for me and this one right here, I'm going to try to go with a simple pass play. Oh wait, no, I see Brown deep down in the middle. Let's see if I can get the touchdown. Yes, I do. And just like that, I go up in the lead, 7-zip. Their offense is trying to score, counteract our score, but we're not having that. I'm going to throw the defense at him. Now he's scrambling, He's and he felt the pressure, and Polar makes play off his mistake. That basically sets up my offense to go get another touchdown. First, I'm going to do it with a pass play. Brown deep down. He breaks a tackle. He breaks another tackle. And that's a big play right there for 31 yards. So next up, I'm going to go for another pass play. 
Brown's cutting across the middle. I got him. First down. Yes. Yes, I do. And finally, I'm going to try to run it deep down his throat. You That sounded wrong, but you know what I meant. Here we go. Is this a touchdown run? Yes, it is. So we have the lead 14-0. And I got another offensive play. Let's see if I can pass it to this go up 21 though and I get a little reckless here and oh I throw the ball away at the interception but I'm not gonna let that interception slide my turn to play some good defense let's see if I can do it yes yes I do get that interception back but unfortunately for me I get reckless again and I try to throw it deep as you'll see here and it doesn't really go my way as he picks it off again uh, and that basically sets up this offensive play that shouldn't have really happened and he goes all the way with even one man to beat and he beats him but it's alright I still got the lead 14-7 here I kick it off and again I make another mistake he avoids tackles left and right oh my god he avoids another tackle he had only one man to beat and I would have given up another touchdown but it's okay I'm gonna put a good defensive play on him if I can I see he's trying to run down as much clock as possible but it's alright I'm prepared I am mentally and physically prepared for this there goes the screenplay oh my god he's just broke a tackle uh, but defense was there to stop him and unfortunately he runs the hurry up offense which is not my strong suit against any game type of gameplay whatsoever especially in football and here he capitalizes on my f one weakness and he breaks a tackle he he dodges and jukes and he takes it all the way to the house as no one is going to catch him. So it's all tied up. But no worries. I got faith in my team right here. Throw to Anquan Bolden and he makes a beautiful catch right there. And he's all hyped up, boy, because he just set up what would be the go-ahead touchdown pass to Brown as we get ready he sets he locks and loads and no one is going to catch him touchdown take the lead but as you see the Seminoles are not going away quietly into the night as they fought their way into the red zone and there they go it's another pass completed I'm trying to make the stop but it's just not working and now he pulls out the hurry up offense which is my only flaw can and he's audibling too oh my god and it's a first and goal and he calls up the another hurry up offensive play I'm trying to do whatever I can to bust out a stop now he's audibling into a different play right here and unfortunately he's a runs right through my man and scores a touchdown it's all tied but i have one more chance it's third and ten on this play can i get it to the first down mark yeah no it's broken up oh, and now he just had to punt it away now he was able to march all the way down the field and unfortunately he is gonna be able to run down clock and even though you won't even though my HDPVR didn't record it he ends up kicking the game winning field goal that ends this game 24 to 21 I was so heartbroken cause I could have actually won with that garbage team that I had the only good player on there was Deion Sanders and he did nothing the entire game. Uh, but if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Till next time, this is your boy K Fighter Ken Bob saying deuces. I'm out.
from the 13 yard line. It's second down. They're showing blitz. Black five, black five, three, nine. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. Out of bounds at the four. That's a gain of nine in the play. That makes it first and goal. So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. We have less than a minute to go. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. The defense calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. 